know you have to swim all right with this. And you will believe it, lie down there all this morning. I had three bags there, all the bag up. So it is just before 7 a.m. local time here on the south coast of Barbados. We're in a town called Worthing, uh, close to the airport. 
And the south coast, we're in a resort. Uh, we came here for family vacation. Um, the south coast of Barbados, because of the trajectory of Hurricane Beryl, is uh, supposed to be more impacted than the north coast because the eye of the hurricane is passing, I think, right now to the south of us. Yes, like I said, I think right now, I would say for the last two hours have been the most intense. The overnight was actually, again, relative to the fact that we are living through a Category 4 hurricane. The night was actually relatively calm. It really started right just before sunrise in the last, I would say, hour and a half. And right now, you see the most intense wind, rain. And again, I don't know if you can see, but the really massive waves over the Atlantic behind me. Uh, our children were relatively calm. I mean, they did ask questions. They asked questions like, is it a tornado? Is it a hurricane? Is it a cyclone? Uh, they wanted to know what category one versus category four meant. I think it really helped that we talked to a lot of locals. I rented a car from a local and I went to return it to him. We talked to him. My, uh, my wife and my kids, again, interacted with locals on the beach. And just knowing that people were taking it in their stride, this is a part of life in the West Indies, in the Caribbean, in Barbados, where during the summer months, they are used to it. I think it just gave us some reassurance that, you know, we are amongst many who will be impacted and that it kind of builds a, a sense of community in the middle of a, a storm like this. This is, this is our first hurricane, but you know, hey, we're Canadian, we come from Canada, so we get pretty massive storms there, especially in the winter, we get massive snowstorms in Canada. So nothing like a hurricane, but we are used to high wind, lots of precipitation, um, having to hunker down indoors when, you know, the snow piles up outside, clearing out the snow later. So I think living in Canada really makes you tough, but also I think we are travel bloggers, so we've traveled all over the world, and you kind of expect um, to, to survive, to thrive, and to kind of keep calm.